Hey guys, Dr. Linda Kramer. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, today's video, pendulums. Someone's contacted me and they said, how do I know if my pendulum's working? And how do we get it to do, how do we know what it's doing, etc. So today's video is how to buy pendulums, how to cleanse them before we use them, and then ultimately how to use our pendulums. Yay! So please hang around for all three categories that I'm going to do today, okay? So, first one, we want to get a pendulum, okay? First of all, I better tell you what a pendulum is, yeah? So I've got my pendulum here that I use. He's got a little chain on him with a little hoop, so I can put my finger through him. And here's my pendulum. It's a little crystal pendulum. He's the one that I use. So how did I get this guy is how we buy them I went over to a crystal shop and inside they had lots of different crystal pendulums you can get short ones long ones all the different stones you know quartzes and the omelines and in INEs etc there's hundreds of different versions of pendulums it's all the way that they're cut they generally go into a point, okay? The point is what makes them a pendulum because they're balanced and they stop when they're supposed to, okay? So I'm going to show you today how I use the pendulum. So we go into a shop and we want to buy a crystal pendulum. I always say to people, don't buy a pendulum just by what crystal it is or what color it is so you don't want to walk in and say oh wow look at that pretty one I want that one okay you got to take your ego out of it if it's especially if it's a crystal that you want to use okay you've got to find the crystal that wants to be used for your specific purpose so how do we do that <clears throat> I went into the crystal shop and the first thing is we have to have the intention what is the purpose of me using it? So I went into the crystal shop and I said, today I want to buy a crystal, a pendulum that I can use where it gives me the definitive answers for the questions that I ask it. Who here out of all these pendulums wants to sign up for that job? So I'm giving them all the opportunity. Now that sounds weird, doesn't it? But it's not weird because we've got to remember here, everything natural has a consciousness. Even these plastic flowers behind me, they're not real. Hello, look at my videos. They're always the same, right? These roses behind me, they hold energy because they're made of natural fibers. The crystal, this big amethyst that I've got here that weighs about seven kilos, that's why I never pick it up and use it. <laughs> he has energy as well. And he's a crystallized form of matter. Okay. The glass that my roses sit in has a consciousness as well. Ooh, we're getting deep now. So even though when we're saying we want a pendulum of crystal, you can get a pendulum made out of glass. You can get a pendulum that's made out of rock or stone. Okay, I've seen some beautiful stones that have been carved into the point where they actually do the good pendulum work. So it doesn't have to be a pendulum made out of just crystal. Okay, so what do we do? We walk into the shop where they've got all the different display of, of pendulums and we close our eyes. That's a big start. Closing our eyes takes away our five senses. So now we're relying on our intuition. We're also now relying on receiving that consciousness from the crystals. Okay. So we walk in and I close my eyes and I say my intention. Today I'm looking for a crystal that wants to work with me to give me the definitive answers, the accuracy the honesty and the truth about the questions that I ask it okay then with your eyes shut you feel like with spidey senses 
which crystal. So you might be drawn over to this area. And then as you get closer to that area, you think, oh, there's about 10 here. So you close your eyes again. You say, which one of you guys want to come home with me today where you can use through me and I receive your information where I can use it for clients, use it for myself, use it for other purposes. So you'll be drawn to one. It's like a magnetic pull. Okay, that's what happened with this guy. So I bought this guy <clears throat> and I brought him home. So that's one technique on how to buy our crystal. We don't put our ego into it. We allow the crystal to pick us. But we've just got to be in tune to pick up those messages. Yeah. So now, how do we cleanse them? Now, there are certain crystals out there who do not like water or salt. But if you stick with the crystals, like this is a um, crystal pendulum, clear crystal pendulum, right? They do like water. So when I bring home any new crystals that I'm going to personally use, you firstly want a little bowl. So I've got a little cup here because it doesn't have to be crystal bowl. It can be any container that holds water. So I'm going to raise up my little bench here. So I've got my box of tissues, okay? I have all these tissues with me because, hello, I do readings and people cry. So I start crying my eyes out. So here in Australia, we have tissues with kangaroos and they even have their little paw prints on the top. Okay, that's the artwork. So I'm going to put my tissues here with my little crystal, with my little bowl. Now, this is just a little made in Taiwan, made in Japan. So it's nothing special, this little container. Now, we want to use spring water with no chemicals inside it so that's why i drink this stuff here in australia and if you look at the ingredients it's 100 percent spring water it's just here right just there 100 percent spring water so there's no chemicals in this so i just put in some water yep so it's about three quarters of the way full then i get natural sea salt this is in our shop here for two dollars and it, this is how you buy it so it's got a canister okay that's got the grinder on the top so once again when we look at ingredients it says sea salt ingredients there's nothing else added no chemicals that's going to hurt my crystal so we put some crystal um some salt into this little container sprinkle sprinkle sprinkles shake 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 okay then all we have to do is submerse our crystal into that salt water. So he's in there. I like leaving them in there for at least 24 hours. Okay? So that's what I do. I just put him in my little bowl, leave it in there for about 24 hours. So he's all cleansed with the salt and the water. So you bring him out, and as you can see, he's dripping. So all I do is I get a tissue and I just take off the wet. They love the water because what does water do ultimately? It's a conduit of electricity. So if ever you do want to use your crystals for energy work or whatever type of, you know, people use them for healing, for clarity, for sleeping, to reduce stress, whatever, get them wet. They love it. Okay. So let me just get rid of this box here out of the way as well. All right, so now I've got my crystal and he's all cleansed. But now I need to connect it to me. So we hold it. Simple. Put it in your hand and hold it for a while. We can also put it under our pillow so we sleep with our crystal. Okay? So you just play with him in your hand. Always put love and thanks into it. I love you. Thank you for wanting to come home with me. Thank you for being with me. I so appreciate you. Okay? Always appreciate your crystals. Okay? So, that's what I do whenever I get new crystals. Water and salt. Okay? But just, just remember, there are some crystals that don't like it. So, the best thing is to do is to get like a crystal Bible. Um, I have one here. Here's my crystal Bible, 
and it will tell you whether it likes salt in there okay so you just pick a crystal okay any crystals in there all right so that's one of my favorite books that I like doing okay so that'll tell you whether he likes salt etc okay so we've got our crystal we hold it we're now connecting with it some people like to put it in their pocket some people like putting it in their clothes you sleep under it you sit on it you sit on it <laughs> absolutely put it into your bra strap so it's near your armpits now in another video I did oh, about a year ago I was mentioning our three hot spots on our body a lot of people think that our hot spots is our head feet and hands it's actually not right okay when I used to be a first aid trainer I used to teach that our three hot spots or our cold spots is actually neck armpits and groin area think of where we have hair okay I'll just go there our hair it grows long on our head so we can wrap it around our neck as a scarf okay because our neck it gets cold and hot armpits think of the hair okay it only grows about this long compared to the length of this because it acts as a conduit when we're hot and cold when we're cold the hair warms us up and when it's hot it creates that sweat occurrence so then the water sticks into the hair and it cools us down as the wind goes through same with the down there okay same thing so there you go you just learned something about first aid so if you are ever hot or cold warm up neck armpits or groin okay yes if you're really hot throw some ice cubes down your pants it'll cool you down very very quickly tip from Linda okay because I used to be a first aid trainer so back to our crystals right I've got our crystal now so how do we cleanse them salt and water leave it soaking for about 24 hours okay then we want to hold him we put our love and our appreciation we let him know how much he's now connected to us we're going to look after him okay so now how do we use them okay so we must take away our ego that's the big thing when we're using a crystal we have to let it do what it wants okay so let's just say we want to ask it a um, simple question am I going to get a new job okay everyone just sits there with their little pendulum and they think tell me the answer but how do we know what the answers are unless the pendulum tells us yeah oops my hair's stuck in it now okay so we've got to take our ego out of that equation and let the pendulum do its work okay so remember the crystal has its own consciousness it has a its own intuitive level okay so I'm just going to get myself comfortable because I want to be very very still when I do this okay so the first thing I do with crystals is I get actually I'm just going to put my arm on my um, rest of my chair here so it's nice and stable okay I'm going to get myself nice and stopped okay now as you can see the crystals moving all around right <laughs> I love crystal work Ooh, the energy from them is great all right so the first thing I say to my crystal is stop can you please stop So now that we know that the crystal is answering us, can you please stop? Okay. Now I'm going to hold my hand very still and I'm going to say to it, can you please move now? Hang on. Please stop. I'll just try and hold him up a little bit higher for you. And as you can see, there's a lot of distance. So my thumb is actually quite a few inches away from it. Okay. See? All right, so it's dangling there by itself, okay? Even though it looks like my thumb's quite close to it. It's, it's a couple of inches away. Okay, so please stop. Actually, let me just put this box on my leg, on here, so there you go. So now you can see that it's all rested, okay? All right, so we, first of all, we ask it to stop. Please stop. Please stop. We give it some appreciation so now I say please move can you please move for me okay so it's 
moving now. Okay, please stop. Please stop. I use this one a lot, so you know that it's going to work for me, right? So now, how do we know the answers to our questions? We need to find out what it wants to say. So the first thing that I say to it is, can you please show me your answer for yes? Can you please show me your answer for yes? Okay, just doing a circle. So now can you please stop? Please stop. Please stop. Thank you so much. Okay. So now I know that a circle represents yes. So now I say to it, thank you so much. Can you please show me your answer for no? What do you do for a no? And I'm trying to keep my hand extremely steady here. So now it's going back and forward. So you may find that yours goes back and forward for yes. And it does a big circle for no. So you've got to ask it. Okay? Ask your crystal. So it's like it's going back and forward now. It's just rocking back and forth. Thank you so much for showing me what you want for a no. And now can you please stop? Now can you please stop? Okay. So now I know today, because it could change tomorrow. Thank you so much. Now that I know that yes is a circle and no is straight lines, I can ask it something that I already know the answer to. Am I a girl? Am I a girl? Can you please tell me the answer to my question, which is Linda a girl? I hope it's going to say yes. Oh, and here it goes. It's doing a big circle. Okay. I am a girl. Cool. I like that. Thank you so much for showing me that I'm a girl. Okay. So now can you please stop? Can you now please stop? Thank you. So now I want to show something. I don't know. Okay. Let's just go there. Is Linda a male? Is Linda a male? So we want to test it, right? Is Linda a male? So we're getting the answer now that we know. So we learn to trust our pendulum. And look at it going back and forward. Ah, oh, thank goodness I'm not a male today. <sighs> okay. Thank you so much. Oh, yes, I'm definitely not a male. Okay. So now, can you please stop? See how I always say, please? Can you please? Okay. So we can keep playing that little game with things that we know and not what we don't know. Okay, so let's just ask it one that you guys don't know the answer to. Has Linda got a boyfriend? Has Linda got a boyfriend? <laughs> Come on, we all want to play these games, don't we? Has Linda got a boyfriend? Let's see what the answer is. Can you please tell... So see how I'm talking to the crystal? Can you please tell Linda if she has a boyfriend? be funny if the answer was yes because I've been single now for eight years and there he goes back and forward back and forward oh yeah look at that definitely no thanks crystal okay please stop and he does okay it stops straight away because it listens to us okay so I don't know what your answers are or questions are that you guys want me to ask today so I'm just going to go through some serious ones okay okay first one Okay, I did a tarot reading yesterday, okay? So I'm talking now to the crystal, okay? I did a tarot reading yesterday where I was talking about events next year in the year 2023. Is that an accurate, what I tell people about next year, is it accurate? Hmm, no. See? Pardon me. Oh, so maybe there are some unseen things coming through. Okay. And isn't this good? Because if it said yes, 
Yes, that would be my ego saying, great, yeah, I'm telling the people the right answers. Thank you, please stop. Okay, but it's good because absolutely, you know, even when I was telling people five years ago about this flu coming out, I didn't know all the answers. I didn't know the true facts, right? Okay, so let's just ask another question, okay? Um, something for the whole world, a question for the whole world, okay? Um... Maybe you guys should be using your prone pendulums and finding this out yourself, mm. okay? All right. Um, let's just go there with one question. I don't know. Mm. Should have made a list of questions before I started this, hey? But at least you're getting the idea of how to use your pendulum, okay? Let's just go there. Will Linda get a boyfriend in the next 12 months? Will Linda get a boyfriend in the next 12 months? Oh, it's doing something. I can feel it on my finger. Will Linda get a boyfriend in the next six months? Six months? 12 months, I was going to say. Six months? Let's make it six months. And it's saying no. Great. Thanks. So please stop. <laughs> I'm happily single, okay? All right, so that is basically how we use our crystals okay we can ask it all sorts of questions but just remember if it doesn't do anything don't worry okay because they have a consciousness and they always do stay on now this is a big thing with psychic readings I'll just move this box big thing with psychic readings someone rings me today and they say will I get a job in six months the answer could be yes okay but then they don't get that job in six months. But we've got to remember that when I did the reading, it was accurate at that time. Okay? It was accurate at that time. Okay? Because everything now is present with crystals as well as the universe and angels and all the rest of them. So that's why things can change. I said to a lady once, I said, I can tell you right now that you're going to win Lotto today. But... You get in your car, you stop at a set of lights. So it delays you getting there. Or um, something happens where you get there faster to get that quick pick, okay? So even though when I say you're going to win lotto today, it doesn't mean that you're going to win lotto today. It says you've got the opportunity today to receive it, okay? So that's just a little thing there on... Um, when we want things in our future, okay? Because we all want things in our future. Hello, I ask this guy all the time questions, you know? Is it going to be a sunny day tomorrow, okay? Is it going to be raining? Well, hello, it's raining here in Brisbane. I'm freezing. That's why I've got my jacket on today, okay? So we can ask it all types of personal questions. So I hope that helps you today with how to buy them. Don't put your ego into it. How to cleanse them. Basically, you want to hold it okay cleanse it first with your salt in the water and then hold it put it in your pants put it in your clothes put, under, put it under your pillow and sleep with it um put if you have a shower why do you think so many people wear their crystals around their neck because that's connection so it's touching our skin well especially while we're having a shower so the water comes down it cleanses the crystal cleanses us so our energy is all aligned together okay so i hope that that clarifies some things for you today guys if you haven't got a pendulum you can get them online I love eBay, okay? Um, I like him because he's got a little hook thing at the top. So I just put my finger through him. Okay. Um, final question for you today. Please stop. Will people like this video? Will I get at least one like on this video? Now, I like him because, see, now I've got the, the cord extended. So now when he goes into yes or no... Why are you saying no for... Oh, no, here he goes. He's going into a big circle now. So I will get a like on this video. Who's going to like my video? Okay. Whoa, look at him coming around. He's doing a big circle. Oh, there he goes. Look at him. I love this crystal. Okay, please stop. Now, you may say, oh, Linda's finger's moving. But you've got to remember it's the inertia of the crystal because you can actually feel it. Okay. So I hope that that's helped you all today. How to use your crystals, okay? How to buy them, how to cleanse them, and how to use them. Talk to you all again soon. Have a great day. Bye.
To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.